Welcome to Windsor, Colorado. This video is going to be your neighborhood tour for everything downtown Windsor, Colorado. My name is Andy Hawbaker. I'm a licensed realtor in Windsor with Coldwell Banker Realty. I like to do these videos. People always ask me what these neighborhoods actually look like when they're thinking about moving to or living in Windsor, Colorado. So I've done this series of videos. Check them all out. Um, this is downtown. So um, just kind of wanted to show some of the architecture, some of the style of homes that you can get. Here on the left-hand side is the municipal city building, so you, that's where you go and pay fees for things and whatnot. So that's right here in the downtown area. You can see we've got some really wide streets um, and not, not a ton of traffic on them, um, but there's smaller homes as well as some really cool older Victorian style homes. Um, Dating back to the, the oldest one I've sold was 1904, um, kind of a smaller home at night, built in 1904. Um, and then there's lots of homes um, here, more likely the 80s. Um, I'll show you some that are like 90s builds too. But um, really cute, kind of mostly well cared for homes, uh, really nice neighborhoods. So I think living in downtown has a lot of advantages. Obviously we've got some great parks uh, the schools and libraries, which I'll show you some of those. So I'm rolling up now on uh, Main Park. So you can see there's some shelters in there. There's a playground. There's two different playgrounds. Uh, it's hard to see, but on the left-hand side, there's pickleball courts, and there's actually a, a tournament going on right now in this video. Uh, so tons of people there. There's a little place to hang out here, and then these are um, horseshoe pits. So there's a lot of stuff to do out here in Main Park. They put on the Harvest Festival here, um, a couple other community events throughout the year. So Main Park, really only a block or two off of Main Street. Uh, so kind of a cool community park. So then only a few blocks past that, if you keep going, um, is Chimney Park. So I'm gonna roll right into Chimney Park here. You can see there's lots of baseball fields. On this left-hand side is the swimming pool. So that's a community swimming pool open all summer. There is a water slide and you know you can take your kids there and enjoy a uh, community pool all summer long. Um, but beyond that, this park is mostly baseball fields. Uh, there is a little playground between the fields for the kids to play in. Um, but uh, yeah, baseball and softball fields here in Chimney Park, so. But as I come out here onto the road again, this is a good example. These homes were probably built in the 80s um, around the corner, there's some that were built in the 90s. Um, so you can kind of see the architecture changes a little bit from those old 1900 homes that we were seeing a few blocks from here. But yeah, these are roughly 1990 build homes. So lots of good options here. Um, downtown's semi-affordable for the area. Uh, it's going to be more affordable than Water Valley or Raindance or the newer neighborhoods. Um, but still pretty well cared for. Um, there's no HOA, you can see that camper there, but still nice neighborhoods. Now I'm gonna pull into the library. This is a Clearview Library. So that's located right downtown also. Nice little city library. And then as I come around the parking lot and cut through the book drop-off, This is actually the elementary school too. So this is Mountain View Elementary, located right here in town, and Tozer Elementary is kind of right over behind this. They're, they're super close together. So two elementary schools in the downtown area, and of course the high school and the middle school are both located downtown also. As I come out onto the road here, there's a couple of good examples here of these brick uh, ranch style homes, probably built in the 90s. Um, so there's kind of just a, you know, those, those cool classic homes. It's actually Tozer Elementary on the left hand side. And then as I cut back downtown, just trying to give you a more view of, of the different style of homes and kind of what living in downtown Windsor's going to look like. You got your picket fences, you got, you know, pretty well cared for, big trees, um, so super nice place to live. 
And then up here on the left, this is a cool example of a one of those older Victorian style homes. So those are super fun to look at. All right, now I'm um, heading on, this is a nice big church on the right hand side. There's quite a few churches down here, some cool ar architecture on some of them. Um, but as I turn here, I'm gonna head towards Main Street, across Main Street. So uh, there's a little store here on the right, a couple of, a couple of stores, some, some great restaurants. Right here on the corner is Cancun Mexican Grill, right here on my right, and um, kind of a newer restaurant, but uh, there's a couple of really good restaurants down here. That's Windsor Coffee on the right-hand side, um, and the gym on the left. So lots of stuff going on in downtown Windsor. As I pull up here, I just want to show you how close that it all is to the lake, Windsor Lake, right in the middle of town. This is Boardwalk Park that I'm rolling into right now. Um, access to the lake, there's concerts and all kinds of stuff the city puts on and fireworks and everything here at Windsor Lake. So, And it's all right here behind these businesses to my right hand side. So that is downtown Windsor, Colorado. If you have any questions about moving to Windsor or living in Windsor, Colorado, reach out to me at my website, which is andyhawbaker.com. Again, my name is Andy Hawbaker with Coldwell Banker Realty.